my life. Hey guys, how you going? I'm live, I'm here. <laughs> Hello everybody in the chat. Good morning to everyone. If, you know what the hardest bit about going live by yourself is when you come on in the very beginning, you feel like you're just saying hi to like nobody. <laughs> it's, a, it's a strange feeling. <laughs> like you just come in here and you've got to start talking and it's, um, it's weird. <laughs> Anyway, <laughs> good morning to everyone here. So I can see Murray's here. Hi, Murray. It is cold, isn't it? Like it's sunny here, but it's, yeah, it's definitely cold. And I've got the winters on. I've got my tracky pants and my jumper. I've got a new jumper for Mother's Day, so I'm all comfy. Um, hi, Megan. How are you going? <laughs> You've got your notepad ready. That's good. I hope I can give you some, some tips. But um, hey, Daryl. And Kelly's here, and Ian's here. Hey, Ian, and Gimbal's here. This is going to be a weird reminder that our seasons are back to front. <laughs> so, what, like, what season are you guys in in the UK? Like, it's still cold over there, but isn't it? So, um, we've probably still got, you know, you're still going to find that um, the same trends are going to probably be. Um, in fashion so <laughs> a lot of a lot of time they sell throughout the year anyway um hey brad how you going i presume it's just brad but it could be brad and jazz so hello um jody hi jody phil higgerson hello good morning from the uk <laughs> hey drew how you going is it my sexy eskimo i don't have the eskimo did you want me to wear that i'd probably be too hot with that inside the house but I love a good fur fur um, fur hoodie. Hey, Flip and Hustler. Hey, Tamara. 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 Um, who else is here? Hey, Beck. Um, who else? I think that's it. <laughs> um, spring. So it's spring when it's your autumn. Okay. So what are we? We're just going into winter now, I suppose. You can, <laughs> Georgie. <laughs> everyone's teasing me about my ponytail <laughs> um yeah anyway if you don't understand I've had a few comments lately that my my ponytail is appreciated <laughs> so um yeah anyway that's funny <laughs> um so yeah guys I just thought it's May here so obviously in Australia it is going to start getting cold now so I thought it would probably be a good time to, you know, chat about winter um, and, and what trends are on style for 2020 and, um, you know, what colours are, what colours are going to be in season, so what we should look out for while we're out thrifting. And um, I also just kind of wanted to talk about past, like last year, um, what winter clothing that I found sold really well for me or sold fast or um, things like that that I think are just um, all year round staples. I, you know, I think there's, there's definitely winter trends that come and go um, in terms of styles and looks and what's hot on the, you know, on the catwalk and everything like that. But, you know, there's still a lot of basics, you know, like sweaters and, you um, hoodies and stuff that are going to sell you know well year after year so um I think it's still relevant to what I was selling last winter will still probably sell well for me this winter so um there's a couple of things that might change a little bit with um the corona and whether or not that you know affects different d different things but yeah I just thought um <laughs> I will um go through all of that <laughs> the facebook group <laughs> okay hey cajun reseller hey going um my empty hanger melbourne's here thank you for coming the thrifty aussie um oh there's a new name minikin zarelda morning first time thanks for coming in minikin that's nice to see you um so yeah anyway um let's let's talk about it so what's hot for this winter okay so um 
I've done some research. I've 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 looked it all. I've looked it all up. I've also spoken to my daughter because um, I wanted to get the feedback from that younger generation as well because I think that's important um, for not only if you're selling on eBay but also if you want to sell on Depop. I think she's got good knowledge to what's going to be hot this winter. Um, but basically um, what we're looking at this winter is wide leg pants. <laughs> the flares are coming back. So um, the skinny jeans and things, they're still going to be in fashion, and um, but definitely the wide leg is coming back. So high-waisted um, jeans, we, 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 we need those high-waisted jeans, the mum jeans, they're super popular um, super popular at the moment, but they're going to stay popular all year. So I don't know about those mum jeans. <laughs> Speaking as a mum, as me on a personal basis, I feel like they make me look like I've got like a bloated tummy. I don't, <laughs> I don't know if it's anyone else. Maybe it's just my mum tum. I don't know. Maybe I need to play around with these um, mum, mum jeans. <laughs> but maybe the mum jeans are more for the, I, I think I'm still going to prefer my skinny jeans, <laughs> but um, who knows, who knows, we'll see, we'll see what we go, but mum jeans have been in fashion for a while, and they're not going away, so when you're out thrifting, I guess you should be looking for more that boyfriend style cut, um, the, the high-waisted jeans, the Denim's going to stay in for black's still going to be in. It's it's always going to be a staple. And light washes are coming in for this winter. And also like a dark wash is still going to be popular. But I think we're going to be leaning to more, more towards light wash jeans. So um, we should be looking out for those light wash, high-waisted, wide-legged, pants and jeans i'm talking about pants and jeans here but um definitely definitely those wide legs they're going to be in so one of the trends that's going to be popular is wide legged pants tucked in to ankle boots <laughs> so i'm not sure it's my style but i can see it being popular on the young crowd and um i definitely know people who could pull this look off so what when they're saying tucked into um, ankle boots, like they're just um, not knee high boots, but you know, and not quite just the, like the short ankle boots, but the ones that are a little bit up. So, um, ankle boots that are um, combat style or country western style boots, it doesn't matter. Um, but that that's going to be a look that's hot this season. <laughs> wide-legged pants tucked into cowboy boots. I wonder if I could pull that off. I do like cowboy boots. <laughs> so let me see. Gimbal saying, I want the boot cut jeans to come back. It's so hard to find and I hate straight-legged jeans. Yeah, I don't like straight-legged jeans either. I do like skinny jeans. Um, I think they're way more flattering than a, than a pair of straight leg jeans. But, yes, um, boot cut and... Um, what's it called boot cut and long jeans so you know like they're saying long jeans that you wear with a pair of high heels and stuff or else you get those long jeans and you're tucking them into your ankle boots so we need to be looking out for those wide legs long legs high waisted and light denim washes I think they're going to be the four main things that we need to look for when we're looking for um jeans and I'm Fingers crossing that that's it's almost a bit of a 70s style coming back. So hopefully um, we can find some of those in the in the thrift shop. Um, <laughs> who have we got in here? No erotic novels this week. <laughs> no, no, Daryl. <laughs> Although Rod did have an idea that I should do story time once a week <laughs> on YouTube and um, read read some of those novels <laughs> to everyone. So yeah. I, I don't think that's quite for me, but <laughs> I thought it was funny. Hey, Nick, how are you going? Hey, Harry, good to see you. Um, LGG, I think that's Jen. I'm not sure. I think that's you, Jen. So if it's you, Jen, hello. Um, where are we? Let me just check this. <laughs> cowboy boots. Can you imagine me wearing them? <laughs> I love some cowboy boots. Hey, Joan, how are you going? Hey, old school picker. 
Um, yeah, so that's one thing that's going to be hot. Um, ripped jeans, they're still in fashion, thank goodness, because I love a pair of ripped jeans. <laughs> So ripped jeans are, um, they're not going anywhere for this season. So look out for jeans that are, you know, got the rips and the big holes in them. I noticed that a lot of the younger crowd, like my daughter's age, they like the um, the big holes in the jeans. Like I kind of like just little, little um, ripped jeans, but the, the bigger kids, they almost have half their leg hanging out some of their, um, their jeans. <laughs> so... Anyway, ripped jeans, they're still going to be hot. And also um, cropped jeans and cropped pants, they're also going to be on trend. So you want those ones that sit just kind of above the ankle. Um, so, yeah, it's it's funny really that two totally opposite styles can be so hot at the same time, like the long jeans that are really long and then you've got the cropped jeans <laughs> That are really um, short, so it's it's kind of strange that both of them come into fashion at the same time, but they're both going to be trends to look for um, this year and this winter. Some of the flares in the early nineties in the rain, people were wet up to their knees. <laughs> I, I still remember when jeans were so long and in fashion and you'd, you'd step on those jeans as you worked, walked, so all the bottom of them at the backside was all frayed and, um, you know, ruined because these long jeans were in and we all just kind of used to walk all over them. I like ripped jeans being in fashion. All mine are genuine because so old. <laughs> I, I, buy, I like to buy my jeans with rips in them, so I'm a huge fan of ripped jeans. They, you can shave your legs off through the gaps. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Hi, Gay. How are you going? Um, I, when I was an art student, I used to draw and paint all over my jeans. Yeah, Nick, that's not a fashion trend at the moment. <laughs> we'll pass on those short people problems. Okay, so let's have a look what else is here on my list. Boot cut jeans. So, yeah, I kind of said that wide-legged boot cut. Um, fingers crossed we can find them in the thrift shop, but we, we need to be looking out for that old 70s kind of style. Stay away from the straight um, straight jeans and, you know, straight pants. Either go for that real skinny look or go for the real wide leg. I think we, I think the, the straight, it's not going to sell this year, this winter. It's it's. It's gone. It's out there. <laughs> um, so yeah, and definitely the 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 higher the waist, the better. So yeah, so definitely look, high waist. <laughs> the other style that's going to be in um, trend for pants and jeans is pleated. So um, I think it's more the pleated that I don't like. Like the high-waisted I can deal with. Obviously, I like high-waisted because it does, um, you know, sometimes it depends on the style. Some of the high-waisted I feel they can suck your belly in and make it make it great, <laughs> hide your muffin top. And some of the high-waisted are like, I don't know, they give you like a mum tum. And I think it's the ones that have got the pleats. So for me, I would personally stay away from the pleated pants. But the young, the younger kids, 20s, 18s, 20s, they are loving the pleated pants. So um, yeah, pleated, high-waisted, it's going to be pants and jeans. They're going to be both hot. So yeah. My husband has memories when he first met me. He couldn't see my feet. <laughs> I used to have the big flary ones as well and they'd be really long dragging behind me. Yep. I used to have some jeans with Batman. <laughs> Sexy. Um, so, yeah. Um, the other thing that is going to be in fashion this year is denim jackets. I don't think a denim jacket really goes out of fashion. I think they are a staple um, for your wardrobe. And I noticed that the boys like them at the moment with the um, collar that's got like the furry, furry like inside. So it's not furry on the whole jacket, but it's furry on the on the inside on the collar. And my 17-year-old son, he actually just um, 
recently purchased one himself off Depop, paid about $50 for a black corduroy jacket that had the fur inside it. So, yeah, definitely that um, denim jacket style because he bought the corduroy, but it's still that same denim jacket button-up style coat. So, yeah, I think that a good old a good old fashioned denim jacket isn't going to go out of fashion. Can you just wait one second? My son is bit. Can you hear him? He's being very noisy. Hold on. Sorry. <laughs> I had to put on my cranky mum pants in. <laughs> that is nothing worse when I'm trying to do a live and they're playing the PlayStation and they're all loud. Um, <laughs> anyway, naughty mum. Um, okay, so I also, in talking about jackets, um, I just sold, if you saw it on Instagram as well, I just sold a corduroy long vintage jacket that, again, had that fluffy stuff inside and I just got really good money for it. So um, definitely keep your eyes out for men's jackets that are corduroy or denim and especially if they've got that fluffy collar inside. And sometimes sometimes those collars go a bit, um, when they're fluffy like that, they go a bit yuck. Do you know what I mean? Like they get a bit bally and stuff but you can actually get like a dog brush and you can you can brush them up and it kind of gets the bit of the bally bits away and it just fluffs them up a little bit nicer so yeah <laughs> hey bro, uh, um rod <laughs> nearly forgot your name you know <laughs> hey going rod um cranky mum pants are they the first <laughs> cranky oh yeah <laughs> Cranky mum, cranky mum jeans. <laughs> um, I have had two of the same Levi lined denim jackets for over 25 years. Yeah, they just don't go out of fashion. You can team a denim jacket um, with anything really. And I actually like to wear a white denim jacket um, when I go out sometimes. Like I find that the white goes with so many things. So, yeah, um, <laughs> someone's in trouble. He was. <laughs> I'm like, oh my goodness, he knows. This is my time. I love my pleated pants. <laughs> um, where are we? Okay, I'm trying. I'm getting better at this chat. Do you think I'm getting better? Um, mum always made me wear the corduroy trousers <laughs> and you hated them, but mum knows best. And you know what? Those corduroys, they're coming back in. <laughs> Cord is in. If you go to like Cotton On and all those kind of shops, it's full of corduroy. So, um, yeah, it's all coming back in. I, I remember when I met my husband, he was wearing a pair of cream corduroy <laughs> baggy pants. <laughs> anyway, um, it's 21 years later and those are coming back. <laughs> um, I love denim jeans, but I can't stand a denim jacket. It's odd. Yeah, I, I think it just t depends what you team it with. But, um, like, denim on denim, it's pretty full on. But if you put a denim jacket with, like, a little skirt or um, a pair of black pants or something, I think it's pretty good. Oh, hey, <laughs> Ken's work wife is here, beginning to notice the trend of tensile jeans and skirts making a comeback in the stores. I'd be rich if I held on to all mine. Yes, I used to wear high-waisted baggy leg tensile pants myself when I was in high school and college, and they are so in again at the moment. So the, the tensile is also like that light wash, and that light wash is definitely coming back into fashion. And one of the things that they're doing with the um, the light blue for this this year is they're teaming it with brown. So that's going to be like a mix and match colour. Blues and browns are going to be hot. So um, I would be looking for clothes, um, not just pants, but like clothes in general in the tones of blues and browns, like camel, um, you know, sandy coloured, um, tan coloured, nude colours, all those kind of neutral browns, they are going to be hot and people are going to be matching them. It, they're either going to be wearing brown on brown, so it's just it's going to be very boring poo brown, <laughs> which is I, like I, I can't wear too much brown. I feel like it's a real nothing colour on me. It washes me out. But um, 
maybe if it's teamed with some light blue because that's going to that's the color that they're saying to team it with light blue and browns or just brown on brown so i would be looking for those colors when you're out at the out thrifting or at the op shops, whatever, whatever you want to call it, thrifting op shops. I, I tend to say thrifting this day. I, I don't know. I go between. Some days I say op shops. <laughs> some days I say charity shops, and some days I say thrift shops. You get what you get. <laughs> but yeah, definitely be looking for those browns. I did even notice the other day my daughter bought a knitted jumper and it was brown. So it's you know, and I even noticed when I went to basic stores the other day, like best. Big W, it was full of brown. So it's definitely going to be a hot colour for the season and we need to be looking for browns, um, boring browns in, in the stores and and also blues that we can teach. Like people will be teaming pale light blues with brown pants or um, brown skirts or, you know, all that kind of stuff. It's going to gonna come in it's going to be hot. Um. <laughs> well you've got when you're a primarily a clothing seller like I'm probably about 80% clothes to be honest like although I am um building the bookstore up now so I, I do want to have like a full store of clothing and a full store of books but when you are primarily a clothing seller it really does help to know what colors are going to be on trend because like you don't want to be going out buying greens and um oranges or something if if they're not the color of the season because they'll just sit in your store nobody will buy them like so if if even if patterns are going out you need to start looking more at the solid colors because that's what's going to turn over more in your store and i i think there's going to be less patterns this winter and and saying that there's going to be people that always like patterns but um you know it is important to look at the trends and see see what's going to be popular because that's what's going to be available in the stores as well so people are going to be seeing that around and that's what they're going to start searching for so you know like it's going to be browns brown on brown not not patterns and stuff but yeah mixing those colors what they are saying is going to be going with those browns and blues is pops of colors with like handbags so like soft small um, clutches almost that are pops of color like a pop of yellow or a pop of orange or pop of green or something that's going to mix in with those browns and um, blues so yeah I don't know if anybody does handbags or little small bags or whatever that's that's going to be what they're using to accessorize with them um, <laughs> um can I send you a message to look at later? Two of my jacket listings, they aren't getting enough attention. Yeah, of course, of course. Yeah, send me anything. I have to say that um, he's not in here, I don't think now, but Matt sent me a message this morning. So I think it was yesterday or maybe it was maybe not yesterday, maybe this is the day before. He had a book that he'd had and hadn't been selling <laughs> and he sent it to me and he said, you know, I think my title's wrong and, um, yeah, I, just, I rewrote his title for him. That was that was the only thing I did, rewrote his title for him, sent it to him. He listed it and he sent me the soul this morning just saying with the big, you know, oh, my God, I emoji, like my book just sold. <laughs> You've got the book vibes going. So, yeah, send me send me a listing. I'll have a look at it. You know, I'm, <laughs> I'm not an expert, but, you know, I'll give you I'll give you my opinion. But just don't blame me if it doesn't <laughs> if it doesn't sell. <laughs> Pale light blue is a good colour. It is. It's. It's. And, you know, it doesn't seem to matter. I always sell blue well. I, like all through the year, in summer I saw blue well. I think blue is a very staple colour and, um, you know, it does go with a lot of other colours. It mixes and matches well with everything. But, yeah, definitely this year it's going to be blue and brown. Um, there you go. It does sound like I'm describing the 70s clothing. Yeah, it really is. It's got that real vibe about it, Joan. So, um, which, yeah, it's hard sometimes because we, as, especially as like a middle-aged woman, it's like, can I pull this stuff off? So, but I guess even if I can't pull off those wide leg baggy tucked into, like I think I would just feel absolutely ridiculous if I tucked ankle boots into a pair of long pants. <laughs> but I could wear, you know, 
brown pants with a blue top. I could certainly pull that off. I could pull wide-legged pants off. Um, but, yeah, I'm not sure about the tucked-in look, but I'm sure my daughter will. She'll pull it off and look fantastic. The other thing that my daughter says is still going to be hot this year is the teddy coats. And um, as, a, as the, ma the males probably won't know what a teddy coat is, but um, a teddy coat is, it's like a teddy bear material almost. Like think of like a fluffy bear. Um, it, they kind of look like that and they are oversized. So they are big oversized jackets or jumpers um, zip up or jumpers and the young kids like early 20s 18 20 whatever they wear these big fluffy coats a lot to any festivals and I know we're obviously in lockdown so there's probably not as many festivals going on but they will still be wearing those coats to parties and um, for gatherings or gathos as my kids seem to call it um they are big, they are warm, and they are chunky, and I think they're as ugly as anything, but they absolutely love them. Um, and they tend to wear them with skinny, like, pants underneath a lot of the time because they are so chunky, these coats. Um, yeah. <laughs> no, Georgina, you can pull it all off. Have you got a teddy coat too? Yeah, see? Do you wear it with skinny pants? Um, because they are so chunky. Like I know if I put on a teddy coat, I feel 10 kilos heavier. So for me, they don't work. But my daughter wears it, and even though she's like the same size as me, she looks perfect in it. <laughs> but if I put it on, I just feel like a marshmallow. Terrible. <laughs> now they are ugly. <laughs> well, <laughs> apparently they're... <laughs> Okay, so they're ugly on me. <laughs> they're, they're still hot. I'm telling you to buy the teddy coats. They're hot. They're on trend. So stick with the teddy coats. I'm, I'm, trying, to, I'm trying to explain what the teddy coat is. Maybe Georgina can put a, um, her teddy coat on, take a selfie of it and put it in her stories and we can all go over there and have a look. Um, hey, Bron, how you going? Yeah, so Bron is loving the teddy coat as well. Yep, my daughter has the IMG one. How good is IMG? -er? Um, so yeah, so let me just see where I'm looking at here with my info because I had a whole heap and now I can't see it. And I've left it in the other room. Um, okay, so let's talk about brands maybe. So I think when we talk about brands for winter, we're still going to be looking at, um, you know, there's always going to be those brands that sell well. So in terms of women, especially um, I, I get the impression that it's kind of like quite a classy look, this wide-legged pants, um, browns and blues. It's, it's, it's kind of classy. So they're going to be teaming that with little blouses and I, I kind of get that, um, impression, yeah, that it's not business-like but stylish. So we're still going to have, for ladies, we're still going to have the same kind of brands like Q, Sportscraft, um, Country Road, Witchery, Seed. I mean, those are all brands that are continually staples. And I know there's been a few people recently who've said they're not getting as much money for some of those brands. Um, and I probably would agree with you on that fact. However, I kind of feel like there's a lot of clothes at the moment that aren't getting, um, like I don't, I don't know about everyone else, but I'm getting a lot of low ball offers, and I'm, I'm accepting offers that are lower than I might have a few months ago, and I think that's due to the corona. So I'm hoping that 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 will all still pull pull back up, but I have definitely noticed some low, low offers on good brands. But um, at the moment, I still want to be churning over my stock. I don't want it to go stale. I want it to. I want it to keep moving. So I'm probably taking some offers that are a little bit lower than I would like on some of those brands like Country Road, Witchery, and stuff. But at the at the end of the day, it's still moving over. I'm still making profit, so I'm still happy. But they are definitely still brands that I'll be looking out for winter. So stay with those popular brands that you know. And look for, I would be looking more for the style cut. And 
like you're going to be uh, there's going to be other like even cotton on and all those kind of things they still have that style and maybe with brands like that you could even pair them up make them into a bundle or something but um for i think for me this winter i'll be looking more towards style um than even brand if that makes sense but i'll still be looking for my classic brands yeah, so many low ballers. It really is. Country Road and Seed are low at them. I've noticed Country Road is pretty low at the moment. So um, fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. <laughs> I just Googled teddy coat. So what do you think, Drew? What do you think of the teddy coat? Do you think it's hot or do you think it's not? But at least you know what to look for now when you go into the, <laughs> into the shop. You'll know what a teddy coat is. It's like being wearing a big soft teddy bear um so yeah i think we're still going to find brands like katmandu um the north face um those kind of outdoor winter brands are always going to sell well they're consistent sellers and um they're readily available and um i would definitely still be picking up those those brands I have an old denim jacket, bat wing, I think it's called. I'll send you some photos later and you can tell me what era it is as I'm clueless. I was going to super chat you, but yeah. <laughs> Okay, let's get this out with. Last week, Rod sent me a $2 super chat and I didn't see it. <laughs> And he hasn't let me go for it the whole time. So, Rod, thank you so much for your $2 super chat. <laughs> I really appreciate it. And I'm really sorry that I missed it. <laughs> um, hi, Tony. How are you going? Um, <laughs> um, yeah. So the other thing that I wanted to talk about that sold really well for me last year is snow gear. And I'm not 100% how, how it's going to go this year because I don't know if the snow fields are going to be as, as open as they normally are with the, with the virus. I'm, I'm, I'm not 100% sure. I think, it's going to, I think it's going to depend on, you know, what, what opens and, get, you know, how many people are allowed in a space and things like that. So um, we might have a shorter... In Australia, we might have a shorter snow season this year just because of social rules. But last year, snow gear sold really, really well for me. It was absolutely flying out the door. Ski pants, ski jackets, ski gloves. Um, it was selling hot for me. And I was getting good money and I was buying it for cheap. And um I, I just had a huge success last year with snow gear and I actually just sold a pair of snow pants this week, a, a kid's pair. So I'm thinking people are starting to um, think about the snow again now in May and I did notice the other day when I was driving, I could see some snow on the mountains, which was pretty exciting and it's been cold here and I'm only a couple of hours from the snow. So I don't know if I, like for, say for Bron, who's in Queensland or anyone else there in Queensland, it might not be as easy for you to find snow gear in your stores because um, you're not as close to it as, as I am. But I definitely was able to get quite a lot of snow gear last year. I also bought snow gear last year from Facebook Marketplace and I resold it on eBay. And I actually sold a lot of um, Audi brand the crane, like it, that didn't matter. Audi, Audi snow gear has a really high um, following. It's, it's, it's people like the Audi snow gear and Audi only do one snow gear sale a year and they're not doing it this year. I, I heard that they're not doing, I, I, I did hear that they're not doing their, their snow sale this year and I'm presuming because of Corona. So in a way, it could be a good thing because if we can pick up snow gear in the thrift shops, there's going to be le like that Audi sale sells out of all that snow gear. So there's a lot of people who buy it, but if it, if they're not having that big sale, people aren't going to be wanting to go and pay full price for snow gear because some of it's really expensive to buy new. 
So I know that I'll still be keeping an eye out for snow wear. And even if it doesn't um, move as fast for me this year, I will still stock up on it for next year. Um, I'm happy to I'm I'm happy to buy snow gear whenever I see it because I feel like it turns over at some stage. I'd be happy to buy it this year, even if there's we we don't get to go to the snow and store it for a year because it, it's one of those things that is seasonal. You can't you, you don't really seem to buy it all year round. It'll start hitting the shop soon and um yeah, good money. Good money in the snow gear. North Face is my favourite snow gear to flip or winter camping clothing. Yeah, don't you find like those Katmandu pants, um, they sell really well. Katmandu zip-ups, jackets, um, anything Katmandu. Hey, Toby, how are you going? Um, I saw somebody else pop in here. Dave, hi, Dave, how are you going? Um, Tony's listed an Akubra hat yesterday for 70 and it sold in a minute. Wow, I should have priced it higher. Yeah, awesome. Cat, you know, a, a proper Akubra hat is expensive. Like they they are really expensive to buy. So yeah, I would definitely if you could if you can find like a it's like country and western styled cowboy boots, like leather boots, they are expensive to buy new. And um you'll be if you can find some of those, they are the wet country western boots don't go out of fashion either. They're they're one of those staples. So, yeah. Um, where are we? There you go. I work at Audi. It's the biggest day of the year, but I don't think they were prepared to do such a big sale due to the social distancing. Yes. Okay, so that's why. Maybe they didn't want that many people gathering in the store more than maybe they – yeah, it's huge, isn't it? Like, and it really does – like, I can almost get secondhand what Audi charges new for snow gear. People people trust the Audi snow gear. They know it's warm enough. They know it's waterproof and, you know, it sells. So, yeah. Um, oh, I forgot. The other thing that they said is really going to be hot this winter is cream-coloured um, slouch boots. So, yeah, I... I I haven't seen any in the stores myself and I don't own a pair of cream-coloured slouch boots, but apparently we should be looking for those. So slouch meaning, you know, like halfway up your calf, slouchy, um, baggy kind of cream-coloured boots, women's boots, so take a look for those. Hey, Nathan, how are you going? Hey, Kimberly. Um, I got given a leather pair of um, cowboy boots. I might have to list them. Yeah, cowboy boots are hot. So they're, they're hot all year round. Um, so I think with men's clothing, it tends to be a little bit more, you, like, it, like it doesn't seem to trend as much. When I say trend, that sounds weird, eh? But like women's stuff, when I talk about wide leg pants and flares and um, tuck into their boots like the, it, it seems to be a bit more seasonal where men's kind of stick with you know their jeans and their sweaters and their jumpers and their shirts and um you know it's kind of the same it's like when you have a baby and like <laughs> buying boys clothes can be boring compared to buying girls clothes because there's so much more you can kind of do with it and get and I think it's the same with men's and women men's is just much more staples and um you know I don't I don't think we're going to see a lot of change with men's but I do think that if it's a trend that blues are going to be in fashion maybe we should be looking for more blue shirts and um neutral colors like blacks whites grays um browns it's you know it definitely sounds like the neutral tones and the solid colors are going to be hot this season so, hey, Matt, how you going? I was just talking about you before. I was talking about how your book sold when we changed the title. So, yeah. Whitner black leather boots are my favourite winter shoe to sell. They're popular in workwear. Yeah, and I've noticed that I've been selling a lot the last few weeks of the, the little ankle boots. So I think we're going to definitely, I mean, they're a staple for winter anyway. They're not going to go out of fashion, um, but it sounds like those, 
mid-calf boots are going to be quite fashionable as well because people are going to be wanting to tuck them into their pants. So I'd be looking for little ankle boots and more mid boots rather than the knee-high boots. Um, I didn't see much about the knee-high boots being on trend, but, I mean, knee-high boots are always hot, don't you think? Like they're always pretty sexy if you wear them with the right the right outfit. So, again, they're one of those things that I don't think they'll ever be out of fashion, but it sounds like more this season we're looking for more mid-calf boots. So Mel's magic touch. <laughs> I'm really happy you got the sale. It was really good. Do you find big sizes will sell well for you or is it all about the style and the sizing? Yeah, I do. I sell a lot of plus size clothing, Nick. I think plus size 16 plus is always a huge seller. Um, but I think I think are some of these trendy, trendy styles – this might sound bad, but I think some of those trendy styles sometimes are better, like mum jeans and stuff like that, are better on smaller people. And I think plus size tend to have more of a style that is more flattering to the body shape. I hope that makes sense. <laughs> I, 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 mm, I hope that makes sense. But I think um, plus size... Um, I think it depends on the age group as well. Like obviously the older 60-year-old women and a lot, uh, not all, like a lot of them are plus sized. So, you know, they do wear that size 16, that baggy floral kind of um, patterned style tops and stuff when they're women. And um, I think that's going to continue to be in style. Um, but I definitely think so. I think some of these trends that they that, that come from like the big fashion catwalks and stuff, I think they're better on a smaller person. Sounds, be, sounds bad. It's a personal opinion, I guess. But I just don't think a lot of them are, I mean, a lot, I, even normal-sized people, like sometimes they're only flattering on stick figures. <laughs> sometimes you sit there and go, who could wear that? Who's going to look ridiculous on the most common person? But you know definitely colors i think if whatever colors are in trend at the moment or in trend for the season we should be looking at looking at colors but definitely plus size i definitely sell a lot of plus size jeans and i definitely sell a lot of plus size um women's blouses and tops and um i've noticed that i've sold a few plus size like 16 plus blazers lately so I think that um, blazers are a pretty good staple as well for a, like a, a black or a navy blazer is always going to look smart with a pair of jeans or with a nice blouse under underneath so I think they're always going to be staples for for items that sell um <laughs> hookers are still buying the knee highs <laughs> they they are um <laughs> Our hookers are going online now, aren't they? So <laughs> maybe they won't need them as much. <laughs> They're all um, joining fans only or whatever. Um, our Aussie friends are always keeping us awake. <laughs> um, back to Bron saying the Whitner. Whitner's a really good brand to sell for shoes, I feel like, in Australia. Like those Whitner shoes normally – retail for over a hundred dollars you're kind of looking around that 99 to 150 dollar mark for a lot of their shoes brand new so you can you can get good money on those as long as you're not paying too much like when I'm paying when I'm looking for shoes I kind of look for shoes that are under ten dollars you know if I can so if you can get some witness shoes then um I think I just sold a pair actually let me see what I sold them for because I did actually just sell Whitner. These aren't winter looking shoes, but I just sold a pair of Whitner flats like that for $35 plus postage, $12 postage. So they'll probably only I'll probably charge too much postage on those. But um 35 to four. I had I think I had them listed for 45. I took an offer for 35 because 
I'm happy to just move everything at the moment. But um, yeah, Whitner is a good, I would choose Whitner over brands like Nine West and things like um, it's a good staple brand to buy and it's quite a common brand that you'll find in the, in the thrift shops. So Whitner boots, I think we should all be looking for Whitner, Whitner boots, Whitner ankle boots and calf boots. Um, I'm seeing a lot more ads that are including plus size models, which is awesome. Yeah, it really is. And there's a couple of women's websites now where I've even noticed that they're doing more plus size of the same style clothes, like a dress, and they've actually got two models. So when you flick through the photos, it's not only got the size 8 model, but it's also got the size 16 model. So you can see what it looks like on those two different body shapes. And I think that's fantastic. And I hope they start doing more, more of that. And I hope they hope they can make it um you know just as trendy for like bigger bigger people um nothing wrong with knee-high boots <laughs> um <laughs> I'm definitely a plus size after this lockdown I need to get I I was only just saying that the other day I was like holy moly I have to go I've I've been eating so much more chocolate and junk and I was like, I have to go on a diet this week. <laughs> and then it was Mother's Day and they bought me chocolates and homemade biscuits and cooked me all this stuff. And I don't, I don't know if it's getting, because it's getting cold and we're all in lockdown. We're all eating like, I don't know, we seem to be eating heaps more pasta and like comfort meals and um, yeah, it's not good. <laughs> um, what's the maximum you would spend on shoes? Um, it depends on the brand and the style. So if it's like a women's high heel kind of shoe or a pair of women's comfort shoes or flats, I'm trying to get them for $10 or under. In saying that, I have spent, once I spent $45 on a pair of Katmandu, um, Katmandu hiking boots and I sold those for around about $145. So I they were almost in immaculate condition. I saw the $45 price tag and I was just, at first I was like, Pfft. and then I was like, you know what, I wonder what they're, they're actually worth. Like even paying out $45 for a pair of shoes, as soon as I looked at the comps, I was like, I'm still prepared to pay that. And they sold really fast. So yeah. Um, that was good. And I have paid up before for RM Williams boots because they also, if they sell, they sell over, you know, $100, $200. So you're also going to make quite good money on those. So I wouldn't say I have a limit on shoes. I'm, I'm, I, I'm happy to, and it's the same with clothes. I'm happy to pay higher if I know that I can sell it quickly and I know that it's going to bring that bring that profit you don't want to be paying forty dollars for a pair of secondhand shoes it's only going to make you a ten dollar profit no you have to you have to be prepared um you know you don't want to tie up forty five dollars on a pair of secondhand shoes if it if it's not gonna if it's gonna sit in your death if it's gonna sit in your store for ages or it's just not going to bring that profit so um yeah, but I, I I would say in general I spend around seven to ten dollars on a pair of shoes, maybe five five to ten dollars. So I'm happy with that. So if it's a decent brand, it's a really nice condition, um, leather. You know, I'm I'm happy to pay ten dollars for a pair of shoes. And you know, like occasionally I might pay fifteen dollars for a pair of boots or something. But I think it's worth running if, any shoe that's probably over ten dollars. I would run you make sure you run your comps on it. Um, there's some shoes that are under ten dollars that I can look at and I, I'll I'll just know like I'll be able to sell that. So I don't need to run a comp on it. I'll know the brand. I'm familiar with the brand. I'm familiar with the style. I can see that it's classic. It's in good condition. So I'm pretty confident quite often in my purchases that it'll sell without running a comp. But if I was going to spend over $10, $10 to $15, I would probably start running comps and having look to make sure that I am going to um, make make a decent profit on it. Um, happy to spend up on Doc Martens and Timberlands. Yes, both of those are good sellers timberlands are awesome how i've got i've got a pair of timberlands that i found in the oh, the op shop 
I don't know, maybe last year I picked them up for like five bucks. <laughs> I love my Timberlands. So actually I'll, they're almost a little bit small for me. I wouldn't mind trying to get a new pair this year, but we will see. There you go. Kelly purchased RM boots for 70 bucks and sold them for 270 Absolutely. So, I mean, they're such good quality. RM boots are like $500, $700 to buy new. So you really are, if they're in a good good condition, you are easily going to get your 250 plus. So, you know, even if you were paid 100 bucks for them, you'd probably still make, you'd still be making money. So, you know, do consider that with shoes. High quality shoes will bring you money and um, definitely. Active wear is still selling very well. Well, that's because there's not much else for people to do except to go out and ex to, to exercise. Like really, if we if we can't be going to places, I've noticed there's a lot more people walking around in the afternoon around my house. They're going on bike rides, so I think active wear will continue to be a um, a good seller. Um, <laughs> what? Hi, Aid. How are you going? <laughs> I'm not sure what you're talking about, but <laughs> um, if I was more confident in selling shoes, I would pay up like I do with electronics. Nathan, just go through you. Just look at the comps. Just just run it on the on the brand. Um, a lot of some of the shoes will say the style name inside them. You can look them up, but otherwise, just just run just run your comps on them because there's some really good money to be made in shoes, especially like hiking shoes, hiking boots, um, ugly comfort shoes, especially ugly women's comfort shoes. Like you will look at them on the rack and you will just think they are the ugliest shoes I've ever seen. And sometimes those ugly shoes are worth so much money. So um, you can really get your average sale price up as well in your store by adding shoes, especially for someone like me who sells a lot of cheaper clothes, bread and butter, turn, turn, turn. And then I can get those shoe sales and it helps boost my average sale price up, which is good. Yeah, Matt, I was talking about that earlier. So I'll just like running through it again is um, wide legged pants and jeans. So think like flares and stuff. Um, pants that are either long, like wide and long or wide and short. So think short up like around your ankles, so that cropped kind of look. And people are also going to be wearing the wide pants tucked into boots. Um, that's going to be a style. And um, ripped jeans and stuff are still in fashion as well as ripped jeans that are um, cropped, like short. We're also looking for high-waisted um jeans and pants and we're looking for pleated pants and pleated jeans when, and I'm talking about women's here and we're also looking for blues light blues in in jeans and stuff we're looking for like that light blue tensile almost look and we're looking for browns and light blues they, that's going to be the two colors that are going to mix and match this winter browns neutrals and um um blues <laughs> and the other thing that's going to be really hot is brown fake leather jackets so think of long jackets think of short jackets trench coats whatever but that fake leather look um that's going to be popular um i think fake black leather jackets are, are always popular as well but definitely the brown is going to be hot this season um Tiger print is also hot and I think animal print is all animal prints kind of like a staple like it never really goes out like everybody loves a bit of animal print don't they especially you know especially the cougars <laughs> but um no tiger prints are definitely in this season again when you think about it they're that brown black color and that that brown and black and um that's going to be hot this season so tiger prints and um I also read that yellow coats again, like long coats, like maxi trench kind of coats, yellow, bright yellow. Maybe, maybe, yeah, I don't know why that's like, because there's not much other colour that seems to be hot this season, but except for pops of colours with handbags, but definitely they said yellow coats to be on the lookout for, long coats. So 
I've never seen one in a, actually I do have a yellow um, vintage coat in my shop so maybe it'll finally sell because it's been there for ages <laughs> see you later Toby yep the cougars definitely love the animal prints they do Daryl it's um just must be something that makes people feel young but I don't know there's something about an animal print it's kind of got that sexy feel to it um I better be careful. <laughs> I've only ever sold ski, snow, and motorcycle, bleh, motorbike type boots before, and there's good money in them. There is. Yep, ski boots, anything ski, snow, like it's good. Your shoes, your shops aren't open yet. Okay, we've uh, we've got Vinnie's open, but not a lot of um, salvos. So um, hopefully, <laughs> um. Where are we? I like Timberland. Hi, Sherry. Hey, going. Um, okay. I need to wear my yogi costume. What's a yogi costume? I don't even know what that is. Hey, Krillin. Hey, going. My coffee's gone cold. Um, Carol Baskin vibes. <laughs> yeah, maybe. I, but I just don't think that ever goes out of fashion, does it? Like tiger, leopard. But it did say specifically this this season would be tiger print. So I'm not saying that I don't think animal print in general. I think that is still always something that's popular. But they definitely did say um, tiger, tiger ones, the milf vibes. <laughs> Might be time to get into clothes after this. Thanks, Mill. Hey, Ken, how are you going? Look, I think it's just um, there's always money in clothes. Um, I think it's just knowing but I think you do the thing with clothes is they do go out of fashion so if if browns and blues are in fashion this season then that's what we that's what we want to be looking for um you know I think there's going to be always that time when other items will still sell brands um and different things like that certain brands are always going to sell quite well for you but um I did actually pull this up and I'm going to see if I can screen share with you um where are we i'm not very good at screen sharing so let me just have a look at this screen share application window chrome window i think it's this one. Oh, i can't see myself okay here i can now okay so what i pulled up here was just a search or a search here for women's pants that are wide leg because I, I just want you to see that this is going to be a hot trend so up here you can already see so there's 1542 sold this is looking at Australia as well I'm pretty sure I've typed in a, uh, where are we nope hold on is this Australia only? Yep. So you can see here it's Australia only. So 1,542 pairs of wide-legged pants have already sold in this like last 90 days. So if I scroll here, just so you can see, this is what I mean here when I say like that cropped ankle look that's wide pants and see how they're high-waisted. Um, this kind of boho look here, that's always, you know, that's always going to be popular. The boho gypsy look. They're, that's very cool um this brand spill oh my god like if you can find spill it's worth so much money look there 160 160 bucks what a sale um tiger lily that's another brand that sells really well um and again these are wide leg and they're kind of cropped short like that you can see they're a shorter leg pant here um again here but just kind of looking at these prices here um, and looking at the brands, you can see there's a lot around that 30, 30 bucks, 35. I think I do have this set for over um, $23. So $1,542 pairs over $23. Um, but, yeah, just I think it just takes doing some research. Have a look at these and look at these neutral colours and, these, these kind of pants are going to be hot, I think, for like the business look, these wide-legged pants. So this is what, like when you go to your thrift shops, 
there's a there's racks and racks of women's dress kind of pants and um you can see here these are these are bringing in some pretty good money so be be on the lookout for these wide-legged pants this pink you can see here this this is kuka so kuka is an expensive brand but see how she's wearing all pink so i've, I've actually heard that um bright colored suits for women like pants and the matching jacket in like bright colors reds pinks like anything that's just solid bright color that's also going to be hot i don't think we're going to see a lot of that actually in the thrift shops because i i don't think it's so much been on trend in previous years for people to be donating but i think that that's going to be be hot but yeah i mean you can certainly see that there's a lot of these um, wide-legged short styled pants and the other page that I was going to see share screen let me work this out chrome tab so this was like brown pants as well I told you brown's going to be hot but just see this look that's going to be popular I mean that's Zimmerman Obviously, that's an ex that's a very expensive um, brand, but that brown on brown that's going to be popular. I mean, look at this photo here. Seriously, twenty six dollars, and look how crap that photo. That is the worst. I'm sorry if that's your listing. <laughs> that is the worst friggin' photo. I don't even know how that sold. That like even this one, those North Face pants like that. Like seriously. I, I I can't I can't get over that. <laughs> Here's another pair. You know you can see wide legged cropped high waisted brown pants and um, here's another. These ones are a little bit more straight, but again high waisted corduroy wide leg. Um, so yeah, I hope that kind of shows you these pants look freaking ugly. Like you probably a lot of the time you would walk past these in the um, shop. This brand, I Am Gear, it's a popular brand and the kids like to wear that to festivals and stuff, the younger kids. But, yeah, I mean, you can see there's quite a lot of solds here because I Am Gear is like that. They've got these um, high-waisted brown cargo military-looking pants with the um, elastic down the bottom um, and the kids wear those with, like, the Doc Martens and the combat-looking boots. But, yeah, I mean, lots. Here's another pair, crop, three-quarter. Um, and you can see that just when you're scrolling these, there's heaps more wide-legged ones than skinny ones. So, yeah, that's my that's my tip. <laughs> um, looks like a crinkled bag. Isn't that horrible? It's like sometimes I just sit there and go, um terrible terrible photos i just sometimes i just have to wonder like how does that how do people sell that so yeah fashion tips from the runway <laughs> but yeah I, I, if i was you guys what i would do now is i've told you the colors that are going to be hot browns blues um go in and look at your sold comps look at look at women's pants um I think males, it's going to be pretty much the same. We're going to be looking for athletic wear, our, our shirts, our jeans, um, all that. Like it doesn't change a lot with men. I'm sorry to say it really doesn't change a lot um, fashion-wise. I think it's still going to be similar to what we, what we normally buy. But women's, you have to be a little bit more choosy because if it's not in fashion, they won't wear it. So, you know, know what the trends are, know what the colours are that are going to be in season and then go in and do your sold comps and just have a look at what they're selling for. And I'm not saying other colours aren't going to sell or other patterns aren't going to sell, but these are going to be hot. These are going to be what's in the stores and um, these are definitely going to be um, on trend. And if it's on trend, you're going to get more money for your sale simply so you know if browns are selling more than greens you're going to get more money for your browns so yeah um back to the 70s that's it cherry it, it is very very fashionable very 70s fashion i went to salvos yesterday scored big time um they have skiing in australia yes krillin we have skiing <laughs> we definitely have skiing um 
but guys it's been an hour and um i need a drink <laughs> I've had my verbal diarrhea going again for the whole time, but I really appreciate everyone who's been in the chat here. Um, and I hope you all have a, a great winter or um, if you're in UK or somewhere else, a summer or <laughs> spring, whatever it is. But um, yeah, I think even going into spring, those colors are still going to be hot. So um, and they're going to, it's going to be worldwide, like whatever's on trend in the world, it seems to be on trend everywhere. But yeah ship and sunshine hello and goodbye um is it you that hates selling brown trousers it so is georgina i really dislike selling brown trousers i think it's just because i don't love brown like it's poo brown like it's just like such a nothing color to me but do you know what I, i'll sell whatever makes money so if brown pants are in season then i'm freaking buying all the brown pants you watch <laughs> I will be looking for the brown pants like nothing else. So, yeah. Anyway, thank you so much, everybody. Good to see you. I'm just going to give you all a quick reminder. On Thursday, I've got Zaheer coming in to have a chat with me. Now, we're not going to be talking about anything reselling. Um, we're just going to be having a laugh and having some fun. I have got some little games set up to play with Zaheer because Zaheer is so funny when he laughs. Like, he just makes me laugh. And we just, last time we did a stream together on his channel, we just honestly laughed and laughed for like, like we could hardly even talk sensibly <laughs> so that was the plan we were this time we're not going to talk reselling we're just going to have some fun and um i do have like i've been trying to think of some little gamey kind of things to play with him and get him going and um just keep it light-hearted you know sometimes it's nice to just um you know not talk reselling and just have a laugh with somebody who's a fun friend and that's what I wanted with Zaheer so tune in on Thursday I think it's 11 30 p.m for UK um time it would be just after Nick does a live so we'll follow on from Nick and um that's going to be cool and next week I've also got a special guest coming on on Thursday as well and I'm really looking forward to that one he is going to teach you guys something and um, it's going to be cool. So stay tuned for that one. So that's it. Thanks, guys. Bye.